Grass. What's its deal? Is it here to save us or destroy us? Why do cows like it so much? While the answers to all these questions might be elusive, they're trying to figure out a few of them at the Rapid City Forest and Grassland Research Laboratory. South Dakota is known for Mount Rushmore, the Badlands, the Black Hills Forest, and its grass. I mean, not like the grass in your front yard, prairie grass. Today, the mixed grass prairies of the Great Plains have been reduced to just 30% of their original size. This affects wildlife habitats, food production, and air quality. But it's not all bad news. There's plenty of research happening in the Great Plains to find ways to help save the grasslands. And one of the scientists doing this work is research ecologist, Dr. Jacqueline Ott. I come from a family that has a bunch of nerds in it. And my grandfather was a chemist. Uh, my grandmother was great at mathematics. My mother was a teacher. My father is a chemical engineer. My brother is a computer engineer. I don't think they quite knew how much I love the outdoors. It all started with them uh, putting the tent, tying it down to the piano inside because they didn't want to go camping for real, but I did. But yes, I would say they're, my family's always been encouraging me to be outside and they're just happy that I figured it out. I'm happy too, because today I get to visit Jackie at the Rocky Mountain Research Station to find out what all budding ecologists need to know. What else is there to find out about grass? Don't we mostly know everything there is to know? Well, there's actually a, quite a bit. Um, most people, you think about grass as coming from seed, but actually about 99% of your stems that are growing out are coming from below ground buds. I don't even know what that means entirely. <laughs> like, what is a bud? Jackie explains that buds are little packages of plant tissue that have the same DNA as their parent plant. So they're essentially a clone. That's right, grass can clone itself. And you thought it was just fun to cartwheel on. Because grass is clonal, that means that the grass all around you could be hundreds of years old because it's just been cloning itself year after year. That is absolutely wild. To help me understand what she does in her particular field of expertise, Jackie takes me to the place where the magic happens, the field. Welcome to the very big. Wow, so this is where you work. Yes. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's stunning. To find out what secrets the grass is hiding below the surface, Jackie shows me how to collect samples of buds underground, which in ecologist speak is called coring. What does coring have to do with dancing? You're about to find out. So I twist. Mm -hmm. oh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the grassland wiggle down. Yeah. OK. Here we go. Nice job. All right. Now that we have our sample, or as I like to call it, a dirt cupcake, we head to Jackie's lab to get up close and personal with our brand new buds. This is a stereo microscope, so it can magnify things for us up to 120 times. Look, there's one. Wow. Two, and there's a third one. Wow. Examining buds under the microscope tells us all about what time of the year they're growing and how they're developing, even as the climate gets hotter and drier. And it lets us see all the dirt we collected under our fingernails. What does learning about the buds help us understand about the overall ecosystem? Buds are living below ground. So go below ground is their protected space. They can survive fire, they can survive grazing, they can survive drought down there. So they're well adapted, they're well designed to live below ground and, and respond. And if we understand how they function, when they grow out, how long do they live, when are they made, we'll understand how they're gonna start responding to future scenarios like in climate change. Studying buds tells us a lot about the survivability of a plant. Exactly. And this is what's gonna sustain our grasslands into the future. Thank you so much, Dr. Ott. This has been so much fun. Best buds forever? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.